the land of the free and the home of the brave. Welcome to Palomar, Oklahoma City's Family Justice Center. It's a place for a location of collective impact, for collective resources, and that victims of crimes, domestic violence, sexual assault, elder abuse, stalking, human trafficking, can come into one building. They'll be presented with a number of options of services that will be available to them. Oklahoma City's making history today. Oklahoma City is for the first time creating a framework for government agencies and non-government agencies, cops and prosecutors, advocates, professionals of all kinds to come together under one roof so victims of child abuse, sexual assault, elder abuse, domestic violence can come one place for everything they need. This will be the place of hope in Oklahoma City. And Palomar is the name of this beautiful facility that we're now opening for wraparound services for victims of Crime. We're Palomar. Uh, we serve men, women, and children who have experienced domestic violence and sexual violence. Uh, we are located at 1140 North Hudson. Palomar will become a name that everybody in this community will know that that's the place you go when you need wraparound services for what you've experienced in your relationship or in your family. Today is really an introduction because most of the public would have no idea of the need of these services. My heart is bursting because I cannot believe how amazing Oklahoma City is and how we've rallied around survivors to make this dream a reality. We have a serious problem of violence in our community. There were 35,000 calls to 911 last year that were domestic related. 78% of those had children in the home who are profoundly impact impacted by violence. Intervention is key if we want to change how the story ends. I want to give special thanks to our Oklahoma City uh, police Chief, special thanks to Kim and uh, Trish for their leadership in making sure that Oklahoma City has its first family justice uh, center. Let's give them a round of applause. You are going to be a beacon of hope for this community, and you will begin to see the cycle break in family violence. It's time to stop arresting the next generation of kids, and the next generation of kids, and the next generation of kids growing up with violence and abuse. It's time to break that cycle. Well, domestic violence is a huge issue in our community. Statistically, we're looking at about one in four women have or are currently going through violent, violence in the relationship. With men, it's about one in seven. And so it's a huge issue in our community. Putting all these resources under one roof is just going to make accessing help and support uh, a little bit easier for victims in a time of crisis. So we see a need that if we bring everyone into a community of healing and strength, the agencies are able to work together in real time, that the lawyers and advocates sit together and we see the efficiency. The big picture is that um, the Family Justice Center is made up of co-located agencies under one roof to essentially make accessing resources for victims, individuals and families, male and female, um, just having a better experience and a more um, easy experience accessing resources that will help them get through their crisis. Well, it's become very clear to us that when victims need help, if they have to go from place to place to place and agency to agency to agency and tell their story over and over and over, they give up and they go back to their abusive situation. We can break the cycle of family violence with this comprehensive Family Justice Center model and it's not just for the crisis. This will become a community for survivors and their kids. Kids will get to go to Camp Hope, Oklahoma every summer after they come to the Family Justice Center. This is where you break the cycle of family violence. This is where you reduce homicides. This is how you make a difference in a community for generations to come. Enjoy yourselves. We'll be around with clipboards, so if you have more questions, just give someone your name and contact and we'll reach you and we'll have more tours. We can't thank you enough on behalf of Kim, and Casey and Chief City and everyone involved. This is this is a community project and um, for all of our angels out there and for all of our new ones, welcome to Palomar. Thank you. Yeah.